It is finally time. Some of you guys have been asking for a video like this for quite a while. We're gonna be cleaning the engine bay of my 2004 STI. It's been six months at least since it's been cleaned and it's been through a whole winter, so it is extremely dirty. So let me show you some of the stuff we'll be using and then let's jump right into it. So to start off, we will be using a pressure washer, but we won't be using it at a very high setting just so we don't get water in the connections. Next, we're gonna be using some plastic shopping bags, elastic bands, and tape to cover any electrical connections, intake, or alternator. Next, I have already pre-mixed my all-purpose cleaner. We are using this German stuff that I got from the detailing shop. He said he recommends it, and it has a bunch of different uses, actually. So, they'll be used in multitude of projects. As you can see, I'm using a 1 to 10 ratio, and I just did a little test patch, and it worked great at that. I can mix it down to 1 to 30 if I really need to, but I think this engine bay is going to need 1 to 10. Got some normal microfiber rags, and then some brushes to clean a little bit closer. We got this brush here where we can get in between all the lines. And then we're going to finish it up with some touch-up paint, any places where the paint's missing, some aluminum polish for the rad, and then uh, scotch bright for any other aluminum. Tweezers for the intercooler so we can get all the intercooler fins straight. Some aluminum dress, some vinyl dress, and then some other dressings here and there just to get the engine bay perfect and ready for that show and shine. And here's just a little before we get any work done. So as you can see, there's dirt everywhere. There's mud in here. There's mud on the intercooler, on the strut towers, pretty much everywhere that it can go. Also, the bottom of the hood is extremely dirty and we'll be pressure washing that too. So the first step, as always, is to protect any electrical components or the air intake. And we'll be using those plastic bags and elastic bands as you've seen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and set you guys up a little time lapse. So I put tape on any of the connections where there's wire exposed. So pretty much every connection besides, I didn't get around to putting it on the injectors way down there and way down there. Then I plastic bag the intake, the HID um, ballast, and the alternator. And then I ended up just actually taking out the battery itself, it's not too hard. And because I wanted to give the holder a good clean, if you look, it looks like a battery is, has exploded in this, so we'll be cleaning that too. And then the belt guard came off just because it is extremely dirty. And once it's off, I can get a better shot into here. Next, I'm going to take the pressure washer and just do a light rinse, just getting everything wet. And then spray it down with my all-purpose cleaner. Then after that, we're going to take all our little brushes and get in all the little grooves. I'll catch up to you once we have the all-purpose cleaner on though, just to show you how much it's already changed. Look at how much cleaner it is already. So that is just the first pass with the brush and the cleaner. So now we're just going to take the pressure washer on a low setting, wash everything down, just do a little wipe down and see if I missed any spots. If I didn't miss any spots, we're going to repeat the process of the all-purpose cleaner and the scrub brush until we're happy with the results. So let's go. There we go, everything is clean. I just went and, as you guys saw, spot cleaned. Mostly it was like here, here, and then a little bit in these grooves. Every time I clean it, it takes off more and more paint off this rail right here. So there's no blue paint even on it anymore. It's all gr silver. But now we're gonna take off all our tape that we have protecting connections, put the battery back in because I did clean up the 
tray and you can actually see it's nice and clean now. So we'll put the battery back in and then we're gonna dress the engine bay and get it all shiny. And just like that, everything's put back together. So I put the plastic trim piece and I put the battery in and then I just redid this wire here. There was a connector that was falling out. This is for the HIDs that are super poorly wired in. Never wire in your HIDs like this, guys, please. The ballast is like sitting here. Everything's just kind of zip tied together. We'll be fixing that soon, but right now that's not our concern. Now, since everything's so clean, we're gonna go and protect it or dress it. So it really depends on what products you like to use. I'm just trying a couple of things here. We So we got just normal armor roll, some 303, and then for more painted surfaces, I've got quick wax. And then for stuff like uh, the aluminum rad, we've got some aluminum cleaner. So we're just going to try out on all the stuff and make the engine bay even prettier than it is and make it last a lot longer. Also there's some spots that I know aren't super clean like the bottom of this hose. I'm just going to take a cloth there and wipe that but other than that it came out really well. As you can see it looks a hundred times better than it did before and is ready. Also we'll be taking my touch-up paint which I have a little bit mixed here and we'll be applying it to the places where the paint's missing just to make it a little bit better. We're gonna work our way from the front to the back of the car but first before we do anything I'm gonna apply touch-up paint because that's gonna take the longest dry with the clear coat. So we're just gonna do a little bit here. Our paint is now clean so now we're gonna take a clear coat because this paint is water-based and as soon as you get water on it it just washes right off and just coat it with a fine layer of clear coat. While we wait for the clear coat to dry, we're gonna coat some 303 on any of the plastic as I did here just as a test patch, the rubber hoses, the intake, and other hoses. And now for the painted surfaces. So all we're gonna do is just use some quick spray wax. That's not even really spray wax. I'm taking this off so I can get the metal right here and the paint. And then I will be 303 in this before we put it back on. So there we go, we have all the trim dressed and everything. So the trim is really dark black. It looks great, probably looks really good on camera too. And there's one last thing I wanna do, only if you have a top mount intercooler. You take a pair of tweezers and you just straighten out the fins just to get it just looking a little bit nicer. But I just noticed these fins aren't that bad. I have a little bit of damage here and that's about it. So I'm just gonna straighten out these fins and then we're finally done detailing Project Daily's engine bay. So there we go, I just straightened out the fins. They weren't too bad because I did do them last summer before the Chestermere show and shine. One thing down, 50 more to go. But that is it, that's how you get your engine bay nice and clean for a show. But anyways, I hope this helps some of you that were wondering about this and requested this video. But until next time, peace out and stay humble. Oh.